Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the VTI Phoenix, also known as the MJX Mu 4-1. This foldable brushless GPS quadcopter has a 2K camera that tilts 180 degrees, fully upwards and downwards, like the Parrot and Afi. It has optical flow and ultrasonic sensors underneath the drone for a solid stable hover and has plenty of automated features such as follow me, circle me, return to home, waypoints, and plenty of others. So let's check this thing out. Now the drone comes in this white rectangular box showing the quadcopter there in the front. And this is the VTI or Vivitar Phoenix GPS foldable video drone. And down below it has a listing of some of its features such as GPS transmission, Wi-Fi app control, follow me, articulating camera, over a 2,000 foot flight range, so on and so forth. It has a 32 minute combined flight time but that's because it comes with two batteries so around 16 minutes per battery. Here at the top it simply says Phoenix drone and here on the side it shows the 180 degree articulating camera and brushless motors. And on this side, it shows the folded compact state of the drone. And here, there's just more descriptions on the drone, such as auto takeoff and landing, variable speeds. It comes with a case, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and open this up. We'll open the flaps here at the top and uh, take a look inside here. And uh, right away, you could see it comes in a very nice black case here. Very nice travel case with a, um, a handy holder there at the top. So pretty good quality. As you can see here, very sturdy and has a good weight to it. Not too heavy, but yet uh, pretty sturdy. So let's go ahead and unzip it here. So we'll unzip it all the way around here and uh, open it up. And right away you could see everything is nice and neatly tucked away in different compartments. And the instruction manuals are in a pocket there inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. That pocket has a zipper, so let's unzip that uh, zipper there. And take a look at the instruction manuals. Very nice detailed manuals here about the Phoenix drone from VTI or Vivitar. And it has uh, QR codes for the app and shows instructions on the app and utilizing the drone and features. So very handy booklet, so we'll put that away right there. Let's take a closer look here at the drone. So let's pull it out of its compartment. And you can see it's all folded and compact. And down below here you could see the ultrasonic sensors and the optical flow camera and the two bright LED landing lights. And um, you could see uh, the brushless motors and foldable propellers and it doesn't have a battery packed into it so we'll take a look here at one of the batteries and it's just real easy to fold out the legs you just fold out the front ones and the rear ones and in no particular order and so you can just simply plug in the battery here in the back and just snap it into place and here's how it looks when it's all assembled so very nice very sturdy and complete drone there and it looks a lot like the Parrot Anafi and has that um, unique style of camera that tilts 180 degrees fully upwards and downwards so very neat quadcopter now this set comes with an additional battery so let's take a look at that this is a 7.6 volt 2050 milliamp lipo battery so pretty good a two battery set Here's the controller, it's a compact DJI light controller and it has foldable antennas that are most likely just for looks and it has these fold out grips and a battery compartment there in the back so a very comfortable ergonomic and compact controller so very nice, has an LCD display in the front as well and now looking here at the charger it comes with this uh, charger and uh, USB-C to USB cable so you would just simply plug it there in the back and then plug in the battery right here and it has a little opening right there so once you open that you can connect the battery and it has these uh, LED light indicators there uh, red and green lights to show you that it's charging 
And then last but not least, we have the spare propellers. So we have four folding spare propellers. And it also comes with a screwdriver to install these uh, propellers in case they get damaged. So very nice uh, folding spare propellers there. So everything in the kit to uh, replace those and to install them. So very good. And now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is an interesting looking drone that highly resembles a Parrot Anafi. It has a grayish charcoal color. And here in the front you can see its 2K camera that articulates 180 degrees all the way upwards and downwards. And down below here you could see the optical flow camera and ultrasonic sensors along with these two bright LED landing lights. And also right here you could see the SD card slot. So this does record onboard footage. And uh, looking here at the back, it does have some bright LEDs for orientation. Two here in the front and one in the back. And it has these rubbery landing legs and brushless motors with foldable propellers. And it says VTI on the front and has this on off button right here. And right here is the battery compartment. So let's take a look here at the battery. And this comes with a 7.6 volt 2050 milliamp lipo battery and it takes about two to three hours to fully charge this using the included uh, proprietary charger right here which you simply open the uh, port there and you just simply plug it in right here and once it's connected and made contact you would plug in the um, USB portion to a wall adapter or computer and right here you could see the LED light indicators on the charger to show the progress of the charging and a fully charged battery does provide the quadcopter with around a 16 to 18 minute flight time which is pretty good and it simply snaps into place like so and if you keep the on off button pressed you could see the camera initialize and articulate its 180 degrees which is pretty cool and as mentioned earlier this is a foldable quadcopter and it folds very easily with the legs just simply snapping into place in any particular order and you do have to align the propellers but as you could see it has a very thin and compact shape so very portable and uh, very interesting when it's uh, folded and unfolding it is very simple as well you just snap out the legs in any particular order and they're very secure in place and not exposing any wiring or anything like that so a good quality quadcopter with plenty of features and so now let's take a closer look at the transmitter now taking a closer look at the transmitter this is a very comfortable compact dji like controller and here in the back it has a couple of fold out grips or arms and it also has a panel to house the two double a batteries so this controller does take a couple of double a batteries and the controller is very comfortable and ergonomic to hold with these grips and you can also fold them back in if necessary to make the controller a little more compact and it also has these folding antennas but they are most likely just for looks they're not actual antennas yet it's a well-built and sleek controller and now going over the controls a bit we have the on off switch over on this side then we have the motor arm and disarm button on this side. So if you keep it pressed, it'll either arm or disarm the motors. Here we have the return to home button. Here we have the photo and video button. So a short press takes photo, long press takes video. Here's the left throttle stick followed by the right rudder stick. And then over here we have the speed button or light button. So a short press will enable or disable the LED landing lights and a long press will change the speed. Here this wheel will tilt the camera 180 degrees up or down this wheel is inoperative this is the auto takeoff and land button and then right here on the side we have the gps switch where you can turn on and off gps perhaps for some indoor flight and now looking at the front lcd display there's a lot of information here such as the signal strength of the transmitter and then also the number of satellites and whether GPS mode is enabled or not. And you could see if you turn it on or off, 
the um, display will show whether it's enabled or not. Then you could show the rates of speed here, whether it's low, or if you keep it pressed, whether it's set to high rates or high speed. And then we have the mode, and then also the distance and height, and then also the battery levels of the drone and the transmitter. And so a lot of good telemetry here on the screen, a lot of good information. And then right here at the top of the transmitter, we have the mobile device mount where you could hold a pretty large cell phone, but not quite a tablet. And it holds it firmly and securely in place and it is adjustable and you can tuck it back away if necessary. So very good uh, mount right on top there. And so a very good, sturdy, well-built controller that provides the drone with around a 600 meter or over 200 foot flight range. So now let's take a closer look at setting this up for a first time flight and its app. Now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone along with an SD card and have a fresh set of AA batteries inserted into the transmitter and have mounted a mobile device or cell phone, you would proceed to activate the drone by keeping its on off button at the top pressed so you see the lights and hear some beeps. At that point you'd keep the red unlock button pressed and turn on the transmitter and it should automatically bind to the quadcopter. And after a few seconds you should see the lights rapidly blink in different colors on the drone and you should see an icon flash on the LCD display of the transmitter. That indicates you need to perform a GPS compass calibration. So you'd simply rotate the drone three or four spins on its flat horizontal axis until you see the light change color. In this case it turned green. Then you'd face the camera upwards and rotate it another three or four spins until the light on the drone changes color once again to yellow. And once that's done, the GPS compass calibration process should be complete. And now you'd simply wait for satellites. You could also calibrate the drone's gyros. Make sure it's at the flat ground level and not moving. And you would do that simply by moving both sticks down and to the left, like so. And you should see an icon blink on the controller display and the lights rapidly blink on the drone. And so this should calibrate the gyros and level out the drone. And now you can simply unlock the motors and provide some throttle, but you'd want to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi to use the app. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you'd want to look for an entry that says Phoenix drone and a serial number. And there is no default Wi-Fi password or anything. So you could simply connect to that where it says Phoenix drone. And once connected, you would proceed to launch this app right here, which is the VTI Phoenix app. And it's in both the iOS and Android app stores. So you download that for free. And once downloaded, you'd proceed to launch that. And you will be greeted with this screen right here that says Phoenix GPS foldable video drone. And there are a couple of options, including a help section down below. And you could simply scroll through that and it'll tell you what all the icons mean within the app and how to use the app. But primarily you wanna to go to the first one here that says go. And so you'd click that. And uh, there are a couple of intro screens here that show you what the icons mean within the app. But right away you should get a live video feed with the drone as you can see here. So you've got a good 5G Wi-Fi feed here and it's pretty low latency as you could see. And the range is around four to 500 meters with the live FPV feed here from the drone. So pretty good, pretty clear, and uh, pretty low latency. So a good 5G Wi-Fi feed. And so now taking a closer look at the app here, there's a lot of options and controls and telemetry. Uh, this icon right over here is the photo gallery, and you can view the photos and videos you've taken either locally on the phone or on the SD card. So you have the option to look between those. Uh, this will split the screen to put in VR FPV goggles. And then you can turn it off by pressing it again. This icon right here will remove the on-screen display so you have a clear FPV view. This shows a number of satellites. Here are some settings such as parameters such as max height or distance. This will allow you to do uh, certain calibrations such as gyro calibrations and here are your flight logs to see the time and duration of certain flights and 
then right over here you have your distance and height and uh, battery level at the drone or the controller and the signal strength so a lot of telemetry here and over on this side we have the advanced flight modes such as the return to home the circle me and also the follow me down here and so here you could perform those maneuvers here's your map view and here you could draw your waypoints and uh, submit those waypoints so the aircraft can fly it on the map so pretty good there and then you can go back to FPV mode and then you can change your camera mode whether you're in uh, photo or video mode so you can take photos or videos and so uh, a pretty feature rich app and uh, quadcopter with a lot of neat features so overall a very well built uh, agile and fast quadcopter that has a great camera that tilts all the way up and down so a very unique uh, drone with a lot of features that comes with a good set that includes two batteries and a travel case at a very good price so let's take it up for a spin and see how it performs
Bye. 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 Bye.